Atul sir, he said that uh, he don't, he doesn't want to be between you and me, and it is sitting right here between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, IIT Bombay. Thank you, NSS team who gave me this grand, grand, grand stage to talk to you. And uh, I wish I talk very little, but uh, I know that I will not have control on myself. <laughs> I wish I will keep on talking. So, it is, uh, sir, Atul sir said that about opportunity school. Now, you will be glad to know that last year we, in fact, uh, for three, four years we were trying to make a laboratory in a opportunity school which uh, doesn't have any math at least in India. And last year we, we, we finished, not finished, the first stage of that. So the school is up to class 8 and uh, we have a very good uh, lab and up to class 8, a lab of uh, value some 15, 20 lakhs and having lots of instruments, modern instruments. And our students are doing opportunity school. Students are doing wonderful experiments there. Ex all exploratory or research like. Okay. We have uh, some seven, eight types of length measurement uh, instruments, starting from uh, this uh, wire gauge meter and all kinds of uh, calipers up to civil engineers uh, that rhodometer through which they measure this uh, road length and then the laser operated. Uh, navigation distance, so some seven eight types of link measurement, some four or five types of temperature measurement, and all kinds of techniques that uh, we could think of. Uh, we are giving our students <coughs> exposure to handle those things. And the experiments which are done in that school now are uh, like uh, uh, you have water, warm water on in a, in a glass tumbler, and then they will put three, four thermometers, thermometers means varieties, whatever. A thermocouple variety or uh, some elec this electrical uh, operated, uh, battery operated uh, display base at three four depths. Then they will uh, measure the cooling pattern for some 10 15 minutes, collect the data height wise, and then make the comparisons and whether the cooling is uniform as we study in our class 11 12. All calorimetry uh, problems that we have solved. Uh, you never had a gradient of temperature in the problem. Uh, everything was uniform all the time. But here they are measuring how the cool, whether the cooling is done more at the surface or at the bottom or at the middle because there are com, uh, competing, competing phenomena. Uh, because uh, when you are evaporating, uh, this water is evaporating from the surface, so cooling should be more there. But then the cool water, cold water has larger density. So the cold water still should sit at the bottom. So you don't know whether uh, this, thing, this will dominate or that will dominate. So we, I also don't know. So these kinds of exploratory experiments are being done, biology, chemistry, everything. So we are very proud of that laboratory. We have named it Vigyanale. Vigyanale. And um, uh, it has become a, a talk in the town a point of talk in the town from IIT Kanpur and from other schools here in Kanpur uh, people come to visit that lab that, uh, what kind of lab it is in, in uh, commerce and other we are having program for up, uh, schools other than opportunity schools okay so we have it's taking good shape and uh, uh, we are trying to upgrade it up to class 10 uh, and most likely we will be able to do it from the next session itself. So that's the opportunity. Now, uh, this particular talk, I want to keep it very, very uh, small so that uh, I have some time to uh, listen from you. But uh, something has to be has to be told. So we are, I have just made this uh, slide. There are, I think, 30 slides in this. I tried to go very quickly. 
So the this uh, heading I have given is Murti of Pran Pratishtha. You know, when we go to my temple, always there is some image of some deity. Right. And normally we worship that image only. And we do not uh, get a feeling of the deity itself. So that Pran Pratishtha is that uh, from in that uh, uh, non-living kind of structure which is placed in the temple, you get a feel that there is something divine into it. So I think that uh, education is also like that. We always say that uh, institutions, educational institutions are, are uh, temples of learning, right? Temples of learning, that is the uh, adjective that we use for institutions. But uh, here also most of the time school system or college system and some, to some extent higher institutions also what we do, do we get the divine experience of learning? Do we get that divine experience of learning? If it is a temple of learning, are we worshipping the images only? Or we are actually getting that to feel that yes, yes, I have learned this someday and therefore I feel very elated and uh, that divine kind of, of pleasure. So that has to be instilled in those images do that kind of uh, pran pratishtha has to be done. That is why I have chosen this uh, particular title. <coughs> now, learning. Learning starts at age zero. Right? Everybody agrees that? When did you learn Newton's first law? <laughs> when did you learn Newton's first law of motion? <laughs> Class nine. Now tell me, if this, uh, this style Okay, at this age, or this age, yeah, or this age, they are playing with something. Suppose they put that uh, whatever is the, their hand, some, some bottle type of thing, or some, something. They put it somewhere here, they get involved in something else, and after one hour, two hours, this child wants to take it again. Where is my toy? Where will this child go to take that? <laughs> same place, why? Why same place? Why not in some other room? Why not in some other house? Why not at the rooftop? Because this child of age two years knows that if something is kept at rest somewhere, <laughs> unless, unless, <laughs> and the primary force is of life. Love. It has to be there. And if it is not there, suppose. Suppose the child goes there to find that uh, toy and he finds that, okay, it's not there. What will he do? He will ask people who has taken that. No, some external force has acted. <laughs> so learning starts at that level. A concept as complicated as Newton's first law of motion which we learned in class 9, you said we learned it in class 9. You learned it first in, in, at the age of one year or one and a half year or two years. And then in class 9, you were told that, okay, this is the law, what you have learned is forget that, this is the law, this is the equation, this is how you have to work and so on. So actual learning is through nature. Actual learning is through events. What is, what are you seeing? That, uh, this, that uh, pleasure of learning, I have learned that, I have learned that, I have learned that. The full language that is, that is uh, used in the family. One full language. So many vocabulary, so much of vocabulary, so many, and grammar, and punctuation, and the modulation, everything. A child learns in zero to three years. That is the natural process of learning. And then we come to schools, 
the temple of learning. <laughs> and you forget that there is something to learn from the event, from the nature. Now everything has to be learned from the textbook. All the worksheets which are given to us in Kutis. Okay? So that is the thing which uh, we are trying to lack. Necessity of tuitions. Oh, I was surprised. I went to Patna. Um, three, four years ago and recently also. So I, I stay with uh, one of my friends here, professor at a uh, college. And just uh, opposite to his house, on the other, other side of the road, there is a building with a, a big signboard uh, which says that coaching for nursery to class at six. <laughs> According to the CBSE pattern. <laughs> Where is that uh, natural learning? Where is that natural learning? Learning from the events and learning from nature and learning from what you see. There you analyze yourself. In zero to three years, whatever you learn, no one explains to you. You learn yourself. No one explains to you. There's no notes given to you. No videos given to you. You analyze the events, you analyze what you see, and then you formulate the law. You formulate your own conclusions. So that is the kind of learning from there that divine experience will come. And everyone, every child is very happy when he or she learns something, something new. But in the school, school system, from nursery onwards tuition, class 6, 7, JE foundation course. <laughs> I, I met a student yesterday. Yesterday when I was uh, having that coffee with you at Starbucks, <coughs> you went there to order coffee. And a um, young boy came to me, Sir, I met Sivarma. <laughs> I said, yes, very much. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, I am preparing for JE. I am so fortunate that I met you here. So can I take a photo and this, that? So I said, you, you look so little, you are preparing for day, are you in class 12? He said, no, I am in class 8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I said, why are you doing this? Why are you Disconnect with, uh, the, with the life and too much attachment with the marks. 
सारे के साथ मार्क्सवादी हो गए बोर्ड एग्जाम में फेल होकर दिखा दो बोर्ड एग्जाम में फेल हो जाओ तो जिंदगी के भर के लिए कलंक लग जाएगा तो बोर्ड के लिए पढ़ो ना मेरी के लिए पढ़ के क्या कर रहे हो थोड़ा बचना है उनसे अब इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि यहाँ पे आप लोग थोड़ा ए ग्रेड के पीछे ग्रेड लेके क्या करना है मार्क्सवादी तो बनना नहीं है अपने को कुछ आ जाए कुछ आ जाए जो आ जाए वही ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है अच्छे ग्रेड वाला आपने कर्तव्य है राइट इट्स आवर ड्यूटी इट्स आवर ड्यूटी वट एवर वर्क वी हैव अंडरटेकन इट शुड बी द कल्चर वट एवर वर्क वी हैव अंडरटेकन वी विल डू आवर बेस्ट टू परफॉर्म दैट इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल मैनर If we are, if we are admitted to this institute, whatever is the mandate of this institute, after all, why our professors are teaching, uh, so that you you learn some things and then in the examinations you do well. If you have learned well, you will do in examinations well. So grades are important, but then uh, too much attachment with grades, getting grades without learning is dangerous. Getting good grades. Without learning is dangerous. <laughs> okay, so that learning should always be a regular part, and then uh, the learning must be joyful. I am very particular about that. That joy should not go. If it is a temple of learning, and the person goes in a temple and does not feel that calm of mind and is rest, that's not a temple. That's not a temple at all. <laughs> right so that joy should ne never go it has to be joyful whatever learning is there has to be joyful what we are doing at our center and our our team is doing is a uh, is making sure that people learn and in a very very joyful manner and we mostly concentrate with the uh, teachers school physics teachers school physics teachers and all the the people we are seeing We we keep doing such sessions here, there, 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 and everything that learned is always with the biggest smile and the biggest excitement, group-wise and individually also. All right, and the teachers of schools call it desperately need that joy <laughs> of learning, desperately. Okay, fine. Uh, this is the uh, Anveshika sir, Manjish sir. Told about Anveshika. These are uh, in our group. There are some very enthusiastic physics teachers, and it's a kind of concept of one person, one laboratory. One person, one teacher who is enthusiastic about all these things, who has, who has felt the joy of learning. He or she sets up an Anveshika in the school, or if the school does not permit in in the house. And there they make new experiments. Then there will and then new experiments mean new experiments, really new experiments. Okay. And then they will uh, have sessions of uh, children and teachers at that center. They will go here and there. So there are 30 of them now in 30 different cities. And uh, uh, we work in coordination. There are some central programs. I'll be talking about that. And some individual program, the each and every has its own flagship program. But the basic thing is learn physics. That's the that's the mantra. Okay. So I'll just show you the, how how we are operating and what kind of environment is there to to learn and teach. I'll just show you just just figure cut 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 cut. And most of the things are are done. Many of the things are done outside the classroom also, right? Who Newton का सेव कहाँ गिरा था? Outside classroom ना? 
तो बड़ी डिस्कवरीज जो होती है लर्निंग जो होती है वो तो क्लासरूम के बाहर ज्यादा होती है क्लासरूम के अंदर कम होती है बंद नहीं करना क्लास ओके नाउ दिस इज अनदर इनिशिएटिव आवर अनुशिकास हैव टेकन दिस इज वी वी कॉल इट इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोग्रेस लर्निंग फिजिक्स थ्रू नेचर एंड इन दिस इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ वीडियो क्विज आवर टीम गोस टू अ स्कूल व्हिच होस्ट दिस प्रोग्रेस एंड फॉर क्लास 9 टू क्लास 12 इज ओपन कॉलेजेस आल्सो वी वांट टू डू इट फॉर बीएसएमएस स्टूडेंट्स but uh, there uh, it's very difficult to catch hold on with <laughs> the students so we are mostly confined in schools class 9 to 12 so in this lapton program we our program is first half an hour will be ha hi hi ho this and that or so we just uh, uh, make the environment friendly and after that the video quiz starts and the video quiz what happens is we show a clip of इवेंट्स not artificial intelligent event okay so this is a kind of a video quiz we take and after that uh, the quiz is evaluated and by the time evaluation goes on our team some team members will explain all the questions to the students answers why certain answer was correct why certain answer was not correct and so on so forth so this kind of program goes on so uh, there is a clips from some such program some such session is some school Okay, now here is the if it runs. Yes, is it run? Ah, over, over, over. This is the clip. This is the clip. A bird is sitting in the ground on the ground, and then it uh, flies and goes on the and sits on on some branch of the tree. And then we have these kind of questions. The kinetic energy of the body is increasing all the time. <laughs> There is at least one time interval in which the kinetic energy of the body decreases. There is at least one time interval in which the kinetic energy of the body increases. Potential energy of the body is decreasing all the time. The sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is constant. People have to choose the right option. I will not ask for the right, the right answer here. <laughs> and this kind of video quiz, we do another uh, version of it. Upgrade this version that we that we found here. Examinations, yeah. So examinations are something which are uh, uh, like a demo. Okay, so that should also be enjoyable and educated at the same time. Examinations are the great opportunity. If we if we set right kind of questions, if we put mind into, into that, not only that that we compare the students through the examinations for for reading, but also we can teach students from this examinations. So this is a small model for a small group where we can we have much more control. Not to be thought that it will be applicable to the masses, and uh, we call it NEST, National Anushika Experimental Skill Test, and then there are four rounds of that: prelim, prelim, semi-final, and final. And this is through a website. We have our own web website where we conduct this, and uh, some 25 to 40,000 students appear for this uh, test nationwide, and it's open for class 9 to MS. BSc MSc class 9 10 11 12 mm -hmm. so the first round really is that uh, lactone lactone kind just video please so through this we we select uh, some thousand students now why i am i'm just giving a pause here the paper this is screening paper contains some uh, 16 to 20 questions of that variety that bird went there like that Some 20 seconds, like five seconds, 
two seconds, thirty seconds video, and then the MCQ questions, right? Then we give another program for teachers. We invite physics teachers to appear in this test, which has already been conducted with the students, and your teachers undergo the same experience, the same format. They also will appear as a student. Of course, we do not grade it, and we do not we do not give any uh, announce. We do not announce either that this person has gotten this mark and this person has gotten this mark. Then, after that, whoever has appeared in this, we call it model nest uh, for teachers. So, whoever has appeared, all those those teachers will be invited. Online for discussion of the question paper. Now the interesting thing is, for students we give, or in the examination we give two hours for those 16 to 20 questions. But then when the discussion starts, it's 90 percent session on some Saturday evening, 5 to 6:30, and we are we hardly we are able to do two or three questions. So it takes uh, some seven, eight, nine sessions to discuss all these options and all these things with teachers. So that's a great learning there, and people are really excited to for that. Now the next one is prelims round. That's also very um, uh, how that the students are chosen from that screening. A prelims round, we give a write up to the students through mail, where some experimental. Uh, outcome is given, and some key suggestions are there that you can do this way, this way, this way, this way. And after that, the student has to design the experiment and assemble the experiment, perform the experiment, and then write the experiment and write PDF reports together with one minute video. Or of course, most critical thing that uh, the student decides, and some JPGs. The difference is they are not supposed to use any lab operators. They have to design it with something which is available at a common household, and at best they can go to the grocery shops, but not scientific shop. Right? So this is a, a kind of a celebration in thousand houses because we give one full week for one experiment. And then second experiment and third, three experiments we give one by one, so it goes for uh, some one and a half months or one month. And since the student is doing experiments in the house, using all those plastic jars and bottles and the sticks uh, and the chakla veil and roti banane wala and this and that, okay. So it's not the student who is doing the experiment; the whole family is doing the experiment. So every year. Thousand families in India do physics experiments for one full month. So that is the kind of prelims. <laughs> And it is so joyful. It is so joyful when we meet those uh, selected students and their parents. They are always so thrilled that this boy was never interested in uh, studying or doing experiments or. When the school asks for submitting some project, then uh, they will insist that कहीं से खरीद के लाके दे दो हमको जमा करना है स्कूल के अंदर में और बात। But for this purpose, the students will work day and night, day and night, because because we are having faith in the student. We are having faith in the student. You can do it. We, we do not give the message that you cannot do it, and therefore you need assistance. Yet therefore you need tuition. Therefore you need a vendor who can supply items, and you just assemble and, and submit as a project. We have faith in the students, and that faith gives them the spirit of doing it day and night. And all these uh, parents and family members, they are all astonished that how come this transformation. So that's the kind of thing that we do, and after that, we finally find it. Okay. So let me uh, let me go. And there are some, all norms set up. All norms of examination set up. There is no invitation. 
no individualization one is equal for doing one experiment and uh, they can take help from anyone so when we were formulating these uh, these norms and these processes then someone told us that what if the person calls his or her physics teacher and get the experiment done by the teacher and then submit because we do not have any any no camera on and you should not use the the, the laptop nothing of that sort so what if the student is not doing the experiment but the physics teacher is doing the experiment to humne kaha to aur bhi achhi baat hai wo sikhega koi to sikhega na If some other student is doing, or some parent is doing, or something, कोई तो सीखेगा, एक आदमी तो सीखेगा ना, तो कोई बात नहीं है क्रेडिट इस स्टूडेंट के नाम से जाएगा, कोई तो एक को तो सिखा दिया हमने, and they, all these experiments are every year we design these experiments every year specifically for that year only. We have never repeated the experiment. It's a tough task to design an experiment which has data taking. which has graph plotting which has analysis which has some physical quantity which is to be measured and then validate with the known results or get a pattern from something it's very difficult to design such an experiment without any any lab instrument no lab instrument only the instruments i we believe is one is a plastic scale of 15 cm i take that as household item and then since it is all online online so the stopwatch of the of the mobile and the torch of the mobile these are a light sources there torch of the mobile stopwatch is there so time measurement uh, instrument is there and 15 cm scale is plastic scale is there so length measurement only these instruments are available and after that uh, what is available in the house we we design our experiments every year we design three experiments for this prelims every year new experiments since they are absolutely new experiments whoever does it or a group of people do it is a learning examination should also have this objective of teaching we are educating people we are evaluating we are comparing at the same time we are teaching also we are educating also so that kind of uh, things uh, so no individualization Five days, it is seven days. Five plus two is for uh, one experiment. So no time limit as such. Two hunta maximum time allowed one twenty minutes, ninety minutes, nothing of that sort. So this is another precious. We have to do ninety questions in one hour. Tick 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 tick. Think not. Think not. Absolutely. This is this is the first thing they teach in the, most of the coaching classes. We don't have to think. Once you are you get into thinking during the uh, the examination, you have lost it. You are gone. Go 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 जिसको लेके आना है ले आओ एग्जामिनेशन इज हंड्रेड मार्क्स टोटल मार्क्स इज हंड्रेड बट देन पार्ट वाइज वट एवर वी हैव गिवेन टू डू द टास्क इफ आई एड दैट दैट कम्स टू सेवेंटी सो इफ यू डू ऑल द पार्ट टू द फुल फुलस्ट ऑफ आवर सेटिस्फेक्शन You can get a maximum of seventy out of hundred. That's all, right? But the remaining thirty marks are awarded for doing something which we have not asked. So if the student can extend the experiment using the same setup or similar setup, that means if the student can design an experiment as we have designed, if the student can extend that experiment, thirty marks are are for that. So in the question paper, whatever is not asked, if you are doing that, we we are very happy. Yes, you are thinking, you are thinking what is that? You are coming out with your innovative idea, extending our our experiment on that. So thirty marks are for that. 
and people do a lot of work in that. One of the, for us it was 2022. One particular report was 107 pages PDF. 107 pages. Some class 11 student. <laughs> Full thesis. Okay. So, and then same question paper and same experiments for class 9th student. 10th student, 11th student, 12th student, BSc student, and MSc student. Same paper for everyone. And uh, since it is several years from now, so the data that we we finally get tells us there's no advantage of being in higher classes. <laughs> The collective data that we have, screening test, screening test we have collect, collective data. There we do not differentiate between college students and school students. Now, large number of uh, large larger fraction of students appearing in the test pass through whatever is cut off decided from school system, and the percentage will fall to some 40, 50 percent for the college students. So class 10th students, class 9th students, they, they do better than the college students. More you are in this temple of learning, more you lose your ability to think originally. So say the school students sitting here, they are less polluted <laughs> as compared to the students who are sitting here. The time of final result on which we give a lot of scholarships and awards and prizes, we do separate first, second, third for the college system and separate first, second, third from the school system. And in school system, class 9th student or class 10th student will definitely be one of those top three. This year also, class 10th student is at, at the second, out, uh, second top in that. So that's the kind of question paper we have to create. It takes a lot of uh, thinking and a lot of energy to create those kind of question papers. Then you are, only, you are hitting at the original thinking process. If a student can think and then work on it, labor, right? commitment, joyfulness, likely to do much better than the others. So that's the kind of uh, things that we have done in our uh, The last, finally, we, we call them at my place, uh, Kanpur Sopan Ashram for semi final and final, where we set up uh, experiments at our center. Once again, all the experiments are designed afresh. All right? And uh, these are the kind of experiments which are going in. These are final, these are final experiments. Okay. Most, uh, many of them outside the, uh, the rooms. All right, so the instruction to the invigilators or evaluators, whatever you say, is that any student who has been selected for the semi-final final and called at IIT or at Supanashram Kanpur, we, we call about uh, 40 such students. Out of them, 1,000 is finally called 40. Every one, every student must complete the experiment successfully. Then also we give free experiments. No student uh, can go without performing the experiment. Evaluation we will do. That's not a big deal. So all our uh, invigilators come, evaluators come, mentors. They are all the time there. They are looking at the experiment. If some student does not know something which is needed, they will sit with them, those students. Of course, they will make in diary, they will make notes that, okay, we helped this much and that much and this is how the student responded and all their things. That will be for evaluation purpose. But the student will be tutored there in that particular section and then will be asked to complete the experiment. Every student has to complete the experiment. They cannot go without doing that. So these are the kind of experiments we are doing. Now this is the latest. This is the latest. 
Uh, last December, we, uh, I did this experiment first time. Why this coaching institute? So why not school physics teachers? School physics teachers are well placed to tutor in the school system itself during those school hours itself at JEE level. So the first test of this idea, can we make our school, regular school physics teachers comfortable in approaching, handling actual JEE advanced problems? We started with JEE advanced problem itself. So in December 2023, we had a camp of randomly selected, almost randomly selected school teachers, about 20 of them. Two or three were there whom we knew uh, when we floated when they applied and uh, we had to take. But most of them we did not know. The question I asked was, why do you want to attend this camp? So depending on the answer, who is uh, willing to do it or who is uh, uh, excited about this, can we do this, they, uh, those kind of curiosity. Based on that only the selection was done. Nothing like the person who then got the National President Award for teaching that is selected. No, nothing. No reputation, etc. In seven days camp, in seven days camp, the teachers, of course I taught every day one and a half hours, generally two problems, of course a four marks type or three marks type, two problems in one and a half hour. And they did some 40, 50 actual JEE advanced problems as homework. And many of them, many means many, 80%, 70%, were able to approach the problem. And went to it on the on the right lines. Of course, we were always there to help out and all those things. But uh, now they are not afraid of this daily advance problem. Then we repeated this in March 2024. Uh, May, May 2024. Same results. Same results. Our regular school physics teachers can do it. Now I am talking very authentically because I have now experienced it. First time when was I, the idea was there, I did not know whether it is correct or not. Then the uh, third one we did recently in one of the Bidla Vidyanikatan school in, uh, in Delhi. And the fourth one is now sponsored by Indian National Science Academy in and is going to be held from 27th of December to 2nd of the January. And we have, INSA has called only the female teachers for this camp. We are going to do that. The whole idea is, it's the same syllabus. And in the recent years, all you have appeared uh, in J or uh, and most of them, if you are not from PG directly, most of you must have appeared. And you, you have felt that uh, there, there are no complicated problems. The, the, the problems that, that are there in the last five years, if I say J advanced, they are no complicated problems, they are all mostly straightforward type of thing. Much easier to, easier to do. And the school physics teachers have all the formula known to them, all the equations known to them, all the concepts known to them. Why can't they? So I have um, floated the idea that each school where these, uh, these teachers have come from should declare a particular day in a week or two weeks at least, uh, at the most, as JEE day. So that day only J problems will be solved. From the school advertiser, school will also get uh, to more uh, students. <laughs> so this is the uh, recent thing that we have done. And perhaps this is the solution. This is the long time work solution. I do not see this is the, but perhaps this can work, this may work. That if our school physics teachers learn the concepts, joyfully and from the events and then they take up this task that we will prepare our students to learn then they will not lead an unnatural life uh, depending only on samosa and jalebi 
most of the time skipping the, their regular meals, skipping their regular exercises and uh, living an unnatural kind of uh, in, in that mind frame. So possibly this, uh, so these are some of the things that I have mentioned, there are many more at our center, at our Sopan Ashram Kanpur, that is our center's name. And there we have uh, laboratories for uh, students from class 6 level to master's level. And we have a lot of uh, students coming from government schools or private schools or colleges or engineering colleges, we take first year. They come there, this uh, CSJM University students, master's students physics uh, for last three years. They are doing their dissertation work in our place, nowhere in Kanpur. Nowhere in Kanpur, there are 10 colleges where master's is, 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 course is there for this. Nowhere students do any research work, actual research work for the dissertation. They only have to read something and then write that thing in their own language. That will be a good dissertation thesis. It's only at our place, we call it Students Research Exposure Lab. Abbreviation Surila. So it's only in our Surila lab that students are doing the experiments and they are presenting papers in the conferences. Uh, this year also, this summer also, uh, after doing this, our three students have presented papers in Presidency University, Kolkata, a conference, and another conference is being held in Meghale, and our, uh, our uh, research student from there, they are going to present there also, and in some regular journal also, one, one article is published from that. So from class six level, to master's level, we have something for, for everyone and I am enjoying my life, I am enjoying physics, I am enjoying teaching and all the people who come there, they also enjoy a lot of, uh, lot of physics learning so that that Murthyo Me Pran Pratishtha Ka Kaam Ho Thank you.